Well, remarkably, we got the last two games of the season and somehow we're still in with a chance. Of catching Yeovil and finishing ninth in the table. Sorry, boys and girls. <laughs> that it's just, I had to do it. Sorry, but yes, we've got a chance of catching Yeovil. Two games to go. We are tenth. We've already done loads of vision things. We've passed the finished top half. We're two years ahead of that. Competitive in all the cups and also be establishing the panorama. Self. We've done it. That's all completed. They're concerned with how we played against Tombridge. Tombridge, who were top of the table at the time, but we're not too worried about that. But how have we done? That's the question. And yeah, it's been a weird old session. Since we beat Eastbourne Borough, we went and beat Farnborough 1-0. Fantastic game. 93rd minute winner. Bath City, unfortunately, too much for us. A 1-0 loss. Hemel Hempstead, a three-all draw. Fairly good there. Taunton Town, we relegated them. 3-1 victory. Put them down. Thank you very much. Chelmsford, a 5-1 win. What a way to go. Weymouth, a 3-1 win. We was on a roll there then. St Albans, 2-1. Yeah, we've even got Danny Walker-Rice back in the team. Yeah. Tombridge, yeah, a 3-2 loss. They... Clipped our wings and all that jazz. Slough, a 3-0 win. Chippingham, a 2-0 loss. And then Averley, a 2-1 victory. Transfers. Yes, there's been transfer news as well. We've um, we've signed a couple of players and we spent some money. So I think the last one you saw was James Mafound. Ben Morgan. He comes in for £190. Yeah, we spent 190 quid on him. A centre half, six foot three, jumping reach of 16, head in of 11. So we we needed an extra centre half because at the moment, Dynamics, Tyler Harvey thinks that we're lacking depth in the centre half position. We've just signed a centre half. It didn't work. We're also trying to bring in another centre half, Jordan Thompson. Again, six foot two, jumping reach of 14, head in of 12. Hopefully he will be... In fact, is he coming in? It is arranged. But not till the end of the season. Ah. Maybe we're going to have a problem with dynamics. Because they're starting to get about average support. So, but anyway. Two games to go. Let's go and play. And one of the reasons why we're winning is this weird formation that we've played for the last six or seven games. Hammond in goal. Mahaldo, Fenty. Purcell. Yes, they've actually got a fairly decent partnership now, finally. Riley Lowe. Law is actually on the loan list now. He's been throwing his toys at the pram. Totally. Porter, Garten, Walker Rice, Harvey, Mifound, and Greenslade up top. So, where is he? Morgan's on the bench, and Rocky Neal's on the bench. So, it's just the way it's been lately. Well, I think we need to show everyone our recent form is justified. Go and put on a show. Second to last game of the season. Home against Maidstone. Not an easy game at all. Maidstone, in fact, Maidstone were one of the favourites. Why are they down? I, I don't get it. OK, Walker Rice with the ball in. And there is Tyler Harvey with his 17th goal of the season. Thank you very much, Bob. What a goal. I tell you what, 10 minutes on the clock, ball in. Tyler Harvey, he's certainly not worried about any of this uh, centre-half problem. No, I completely agree with you there, Bob. It uh, doesn't seem to matter to him. What a save by Hammond. He has been awesome this season. Absolutely awesome. And it is Maidstone coming forward again. Purcell gets the ball away. Riley Lowe chasing out there. And here, Greenslade. For a minute, I thought he was going to get sent off. Which I don't think we've had. We've had no, I think we've had one. 
Oh, Hammond with the save again. Beautiful stuff. Right, so this will put us equal points with Yeovil. I just want to finish above Yeovil. Yeovil are losing. That is great news as well. Dartford beating them. Yeah, Taunton already down. Right, now's the time. This would be Maidstone, a double over them. And like I said, they're, they're meant to be one of the favourites for the division. So I don't quite get what's gone on there. Walker Rice now to Porter. Gives it back to Hammond. Fenty. Garton, forward. Tyler Harvey, is he going to get there? I don't think he will. But then is it going to be a mess up by the goalkeeper? Oh, we're pressing, but unfortunately, Maidstone come away with the ball. And we do get back in, but then lose it again. Block, Garton, back in there as the Mazala. Oh, what to be doing? He spotted Hammond over slightly, but fortunately not enough to uh, make us concede. We've had one shot, one on target, that's it. Sometimes, Maidstone. Let's go balance the minute. Oh, you're joking. The amount of penalties this season. Number five is going, he's waving his hand there, but Hammond makes the save. Oh my goodness me. James Hammond. It is the James Hammond show. The boy is just fantastic. Porter. Half time. That will do. 1-0 to the good. We're doing well. Keep it going. They're chuffed and happy. I know we've only had one shot, but 1-0 will do. They've had next year 2.2 now. That is crazy. Right. Changes. My food not playing very well out there. I think we will start changing things up in a minute. Tyler Harvey now. Down this right-hand side. Mahardo. Porter. Pass one. Into the box. Oh. It's, it's not really his forte. Now it's Maidstone again. All in. Oh, James Hammond makes a save again. What a player. What a goalkeeper. He is just fantastic. Three changes made. Dean, Rooney and Neil. All the experiences on the pitch now. And maybe a quick little focus. It's done nothing by the look of it. Hopefully. Oh, Hammond. Can't save that one. It's just too much pressure for Maidstone. One all. Hmm. Going to come down to that last game of the season. Whether we will finish above Yeovil. I just want to beat them. In fact, Yeovil now are drawing. It's now a point difference. Has it actually gone through? No, two points different. Oh, we've moved down the table. I've just seen us drop. I wanted to finish ninth. Taylor. Dilly dallying. Book him, ref. Ref, book him. Oh, they've hit the... How have they missed that? I don't know. But yeah, we've, we're down to 11th. Oh, which means Yeovil are up there. And that is done. Oh, shame. Well, sympathise. Yeah, okay. Ben Morgan's furious. Son, you've only just come in to be a... Oh, okay. So Dover have been relegated as well. And we've got one game left against Dartford. Can we actually finish 10th? That would be magical. Last game of the season, Dartford. They're 9th. We want that spot, but I don't think we can quite get it. We can get 10th, though, if we can beat them. And they haven't won for a long time. Lovely. Hammond, Mahaldo, Fenty, Purcell, Riley Lowe. Dean comes in to there just to give Porter a little break, really. Garton, Walker, Rice, Harvey, Mafound, and Greenslade up top. Go and give the fans the appropriate send-off for the end of the season. This could be massive today. If we can pick up three points against this lot and Hampton and Richmond lose, Tyler Harvey over the ball. Six minutes on the clock. That would have been a great way to start the game. But Dartford, can they still make the playoffs? I don't think so. Walker Rice, ball in. 
Greenslade picks up the ball. We've seen this so many times. Will he get it in? He gives it to Mifund. Close, close. Right. Um, can they still make it in there? No. So Torquay have got the final spot. Yeovil won't make it either. So next season, 11th place this season, 10th maybe. We can uh, we can see what we can do. Western Supermare are right behind us and we've got to finish above them. That's not ideal. I hope that doesn't mean that Western Supermare are going to go above us because the fans aren't going to like it. No, we're way ahead of them. We can't finish any lower. Brandon Purcell, what a goal, Bob. I tell you what, the boy, he look at the size of him. He is fantastic in the air. Ball in, Brandon Purcell at the far post. Booming header. Certainly was that, Bob. Fantastic strike. Header, should I say. Is that enough to do anything at the moment? No, not at all at the moment. Coming up to half time though, we will be looking to try and emphasise our point at the end of this half and just say, look, you really got to do something a bit better than that because I'm far from pleased with what I've seen. Walker Rice is disheartened, apparently. We will just encourage, though. Will it be the Hammond show? It certainly was in the first half of the episode. He's not had a great deal to do as yet in this. But they're all, oh, look at that. It's just, <laughs> he's toying with them, look. He is toying. Pumps the ball forward. Walker Rice trying to get there. Is he having a bit of a mare today? Where is he? 6.4. Not the best game in the world for him. Oh, I thought he was going to pull him down then. Oh. Ref. You could just just give us one for a change. You know, you don't have to keep leaving them score and and all that. Riley Low now. Mahoond. Garton. Gar oh, I thought that was going to deflect in. Again, a lovely bit of play. I do love this new ball movement. Purcell gives the ball away. Riley Low gets in there though. Greenslade. Why are you so deep? Mahoond. Garton into the box. Oh. Greedy little so-and-so. Time to make some changes, I do think. Before it's too late, Dean gets the ball half clear. Oh, that hits the edge of the bar and over. Three changes made. Ben Morgan comes on, Sullivan and Rocky Neal. Will these players be here next season? That's the question. We are going to have to do a few transfers, I think. Try and freshen things up, but... It's certainly not going to be an easy summer. Especially as a lot of these players are going to want crazy amounts of money, I should imagine. Because we finished mid-table. That's going to be the problem. Hopefully the board, we will see if we can get our budgets in a minute. I'm hoping that they will be uh, generous. But there it is, end of the season. Mm, yeah. Proud of your efforts. They are lifted. They are happy. So we finished the season in 11th place. Haven't and Waterlooville won their final game. Let's see if we can get some budgets. Morgan makes his debut. Evilly go down. Maybe a couple of clicks if there's a budget. Next season's squad plan has come in, but no budgets. Come on, where are you, Christian Perslow? Well, I think we're, we're virtually getting to our season review and stuff, which, where's our budgets? We have gone up 569 on the old supporter profile. Christian Perslow, there he is. I didn't even realise he was part of Truro, but the ex-Liverpool man, pretty good, pretty good there indeed. Core is up by 35%. That's really good. Get the better of our rivals, Taunton. Well, we relegated them, so I pretty much say that that's got the better of them. Club vision for next season. Let's have a little look what's going to go on. Oh, my days. I wasn't expecting to get this in at the end of the season, but look at this. Make the most of set pieces. We have to change that up slightly. Maybe that means they're going to give us a set piece taker. Christian, I'm happy with that, you know. We've added that we feel the club should be working within the wage budget provided. Yeah, that's fine. 
We feel the club should be aiming to grow its reputation. Good. They're going to build a new stadium. Confirm. When's that going to be ready? Club plan, build a new stadium. In progress. I'm not worried about end of season meetings and that sort of rubbish. Quick reminder for player of the year. Oh, who? who? Any, any of ours? Any of ours? No. So we're not really worried. We'll just go for the worst one, which is Vincent. I don't like voting for these sorts of things, but we will do it. And um, yeah, let me just do this meeting off and we'll see if we can find these budgets. Usual stuff with the meetings. Yeah, they're all happy. We're going to play youth players. That's my plan anyway. Well, go on one more click and the board have decided to use the right to postpone the league requirement for the stadium expansion, providing the club is able to retain its current category. So we've got an overall capacity of 360. Yeah, but you just said you're going to build a new stadium. Where's... Does it say it here anywhere? Belifo Park. Where's the new stadium stuff then? Stage, a new 3,000 seater stadium. Well, that'll be okay for a little bit. See, this is the problem I was talking about earlier on. Malhardo wants a two-year deal on four hundred and twenty-five pound a week. Will he take? Will he take three fifty? Oh, come on, son! It's a two-year deal as well. That's the problem. I don't like putting appearance fees and all in, but we got no money to adjust or do anything, so we've got to go with it. Three hundred and fifty quid a week. Is he that good? Oh, have we? We just no. This finalize that deal. We can always pull out. <sighs> He's declined as well. I don't know. <laughs> it's going to be a hard summer. This is the frustrating thing. I thought we'd have a little cherry pick of Taunton. Because obviously they've been relegated. See what they've got. And they got quite a good right back. Cameron Evans. And I thought, you know, maybe we can get him instead of Milhaldo. But um, his agent says he, we lack the financial clout. It's just absolutely... See, Jay Fulston, left back, probably better than what we've already got. Has he got an agent? He's not got an agent. This makes it a bit easier. £450 a week. We might be able to do that one. Well, that's good news. But other than that, there's not a lot here. They were working on an absolute shoestring. There's literally nothing in this squad. I would love to get that right back there. Well, Nick Grimes, what's he like? No, Cameron Evans. Oh, I'd love to get him. And there we go. Fulston, not interested. Oh. Finally, budgets. We've got a new kit sponsorship. And the budgets are going to be... Well, that's the that's a scouting budget. So we can, actually, can we actually up that now to a bit of um, surrounding area? Can we do English? They give us 20 grand. So that's Vanarama. That's it. Can't do no more there. Right. We was on four grand a week. We've got six and... Oh, 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 oh. he's increased it, Mr. Perslow. Thank you very much. Committed spend of two. We're spending four at the moment currently, and we've got six to spend. Well, boys and girls, I hope you've enjoyed that. Our end of the season, we finished nice and high, but hopefully, with that little bit of extra cash we've got to spend now, we can go a lot higher. See you next time out. Goodbye.